Hello, 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 Instagram family, Facebook family, what's up, familia? So, yeah, tuning back after the last live we did. It was a very intense moment. Thank you all for being there, present and supportive. So beautiful to share this life together, right? How amazing we can just tune in and whoever's around, whoever watches the replay, boom, we get to connect, right? Thank you. Let me know where you are connecting from. Let me know, uh, yeah, let me know you're around. Even if you're watching the replay, I'd love to hear from you. I feel you're just part of my life, right? You guys are, are my tribe. Feels so good to share anything with you guys, to receive your questions, anything you know I can support you with. It's always amazing. So anything I talk about today, I would love to hear also your questions and, and anything I can support you in your life, okay? I'll be aware of your questions too. Hey, Zetlana, what's up? Ewa, Debbie, Silvia, Familia Donata. Yeah. Leonore. Luke, what's up? Yeah, in Instagram it's harder to see the names, right? Unless you guys write them down, which I'd love to hear from you and your name, because then like the Instagram names are kind of like, yeah, not very connected to your name. Anyway, great news, familia. We just finished the Mind Valley filming. It went amazing. It was seven days of intense. That's <laughs> going in the middle of like I almost died in a in a car crash, right? Uh, my mother was having like really like a lot of health problems, and and I was dealing with that too, and also filming fully intensely from like five a.m. I don't know if you saw the stories, but five a.m. in the morning till like six p.m. nonstop. So it's been pretty full on and a lot of experiences and lessons that I want to share with you guys because you know I'm all about whenever I really integrate the lesson then I'm like okay I'm, I'm ready to share it with my family right that's something I feel um, I used to like kind of get lost in, in in the past when I would like start getting something and it's like let me share it with everyone let me tell them what I learned and then it's like oh okay it's not really integrated I think I haven't really learned the lesson yet <laughs> let, me, let me step back and really feel when I really got it you know to deeper layers <clears throat> so yeah lots of lessons from that but you know my 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 this mind valley quest this this is like uh uh i don't know if you've heard mind valley but if not I, i'll recommend you to check them out they're all about personal development full on like heart centered entrepreneurship spirituality they're full on um amazing group of people we go there speak all the time and do activations for them and now they ask me to do like a quest in spanish and then also um a quest in english right so uh, that was really good because then we're sharing like the methodology of quantum flow with millions of people. Uh, they really love the, the quantum flow method. So they asked me to like, hey, we want to have a course, you know, and I can't say the name because they, they want to give surprises because it's specifically on certain themes. But that's going to be amazing. But it, it took like so much of my presence, right? And so much of like my energy and my being there. And and um yeah, at the same time, I received so much, right? Because when you're so present, when you're so present, guys, things just flow. So that's that's really what 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 the, the base of it all, and that's what I want to talk about today. It's like synchronicity, right? It's about intuition. It's about flow state, right? And that's what quantum flow method is all about. You guys that have practiced it before, you know what I'm talking about, right? And uh, they all relate. There's no separation, right? Because we feel intuition is almost so far, right? Like, oh, I have to have all these visions and like, oh, maybe an angel needs to come and give me the message. And like, I don't know. I don't have like the ways that other people have to connect with their intuition. And the thing is, guys, to connect to our intuition 
you are unique and authentic. There is a way for you that's unique. So it's maybe you don't see colors, maybe you don't see angels, maybe you don't see, maybe you, your vision is not even awakened and it's okay. Actually, the, the intuition that we, that we cultivate in quantum flow is the intuition that comes from your gut. You feel it. You actually feel it. It's like, it's a yes or it's a no. Simple. Okay, you meet that person and it's like, whoa, yes, I want to go deeper with that person. It's like, no, it's a no. I feel like full repulsion and no judgment. It's just like, no, I can't do business with this person. I don't really want to go deep with this person. You know? No matter how beautiful they are, no matter how amazing, like trusting that gut feeling that goes beyond the mind, right? And, and that gut feeling, um, you've heard me say before, is the first three seconds, okay? You, the first three seconds, check it out. They ask you a question. Hey, you want to come to a party? Hey, you want to do business with me? Hey, um, uh, can we have a little chat? Hey, like always when you receive a question from someone or from yourself, you can ask yourself, feel the first three seconds, the first impulse of that. It's a total yes. It feels amazing. You feel it. It feels flowing like, ah, oh. or it's like, ugh. And you get like here, it's like a feeling, right? Let me know if, if you felt that before, if you know what I'm talking about, right? It's so important to start tuning into that because those signals or those messages are always there for us. The thing is they never taught us how to listen, how to be aware of our body as a channel, as a receptor, as a um, communicator. Like, right? The body is the communicator for the soul. So many times, oh, it hurts your neck or, 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 or a part of your jaw or in your belly. For me, it gets me here. You know, it's like my solar plexus. Let me know if, 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 if you're similar. Like, I really feel it on fire and it's like, I need to act on this. I need to call this person. I need to uh, do this right now. Right? Or it's like, oh, it feels... Or fiery and expansive and it's like, whoa, if I think on this person, it feels expansive. If, if I think on this business, it feels amazing. If I think on this, if I just tap into what's coming next for me, and, and, an idea I have and I tap into it, I go over it through my mind, right? Through my mind, I go over it. I, 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 I live it through my mind step by step and it feels good. Okay, start listening to that. That's a yes for you. Okay, if you're going it through the mind and it's like, oh, and it's like contraction and, and you see your body almost like, mm, oh, you know, <laughs> it's like, okay, all right, be careful, be careful. That's, uh, you know, ask more questions. Maybe, you know, maybe it's, it's not aligned uh, in a certain way. Maybe it's still doing the thing, but not with, you know. Uh, those five people, it's just three of them, or it maybe is, you know, doing the training you want to do, but, uh, but you know, it's like uh, a little later, I'm not like, it's not the moment for me right now. Or maybe it's like um, going out, you know, the night, but it's like, oh, I just want to, I want to go with a small group of people. I don't want to go to a huge party where there's lots of energy. It's like, I don't know. It doesn't matter what the vision is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just starting to ask questions, right? Constantly. And it's a question in that. That's great, guys. It's almost like, not from a place of like, I don't trust questioning. It's almost like curiosity. I love that. You know, curiosity is like, that's where intuition opens up, with curiosity. Because when you're saying like, constantly in your mind asking questions, right? And, and almost like judging, then you're cutting yourself from receiving more, from feeling more, from refining yourself more. Because all we're doing in this path, guys, it's refining ourselves. That's all we're doing. And I know the ego gets impatient and it's like, I need to know now, like I've practiced for so long, this needs to happen now, right? Okay, you're just making it longer. Because that part, it's getting in the way. Your ego is getting in the way. And it's going to stop the process a little bit. So it's good to observe when we're getting in the way and really observe those behaviors and breathe into them. 
And it's like trusting that with time, I go to the soul gym, right? You always hear me say this. This is a soul gym and, and you got to start, you know, pumping it up and getting strong and building that connection with your soul, with your highest self, with your intuition, however you want to talk about it, right? But it's always there. The question is, are we available and are we stopping to listen, okay? So let me give you an example. On the third day of recording the quest with Mind Body, I came in the room, I was super focused, today we're going on this and this, lots of science, a lot of stuff coming through, like I was, you know, going over terms and stuff because I love always bringing the science to it. I, I'm not just like a woo-woo guy that gives a spiritual experience, you know, it's like this is happening on your brain, this is happening on your body, this is what's going on, just so you understand. And when the mind understands, I see people kind of surrender deeper into the experiences, right? Even me, when I started understanding, I started craving this um, like, I don't know, maybe like seven years ago, really craving it because I used to be just, you know, the full experience guy. I've been doing yoga since nine and, you know, Qigong and, and meditation and that's been my life, right? So I had the experience, the most amazing meditations, the most amazing openings in my life, but I reached the point where I, touching a roof, you know, and it's like, what's holding me back? And through my intuition, listening and asking myself, it was like, science will inspire you. Go into science, you're gonna love it. And I was against science, you know, as a traditional spiritual guy, you know, it's like, I'm not about science, I'm all about the heart, I'm all about energy, I'm all about feeling it, you know, I'm, I'm almost like against the mind, because I, I was like, the mind actually cuts the experience of the soul or could cut the experience of the soul. But this was, of course, just a belief. So I tuned in and that was my next next lesson, right? To like tune into that and find that, oh, okay, yeah, this is just a belief. Let me go over it and start getting into the science of it, right? And going deep and deep. And the more I went into the, the depth of energetics and the, the nervous system and the mind and the brain and the dormant parts of the brain and how to wake them up and what was happening with this kind of breath and that kind of breath and this movement and, you know, this organ and this meridian and this chakra, and it just fascinated me. I became a scientist, right? Fully obsessed. So, Anyway, so much information because it can get very complicated, right? I can, I try to do it as simple as possible so we don't get stuck in the head. Just enough information, right? But that day in Mind Valley, mm, um, I was going deep into science. I'm like, this is the science and art of being fully present on your being. And I was going for it, right? So, I was kind of a lot in my head because it was a lot of information. And I'm like just going over it and like just really feeling into it because I go over it and I feel it in my body, right? Fully in my world, right? Fully in my world. I enter the room where I'm going to change and get ready. And when I enter, I feel something like here, right? And, and, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, good, good. The heart, yeah, of course, of course. I'm breathing in my heart. It's all good. Let me prepare, you know, and, be like a warrior, I'm gonna go, you know, speak my truth. And then all of a sudden, oh, I feel more. And then I'm, I look to the side and I see like this beautiful mama that she's working, she's part of the crew, right? She's pregnant and she's like almost giving birth. And she's like, it's like the third time she's passing by because she was going to the bathroom and he, she was having some stuff and then he, she came back and then she came again. And in that time, I feel like this is almost exploding. And I look and it's like, I see this like, it's like the cutest, most beautiful, like image of this sweet, like really small, really sweet and like huge belly. She's almost giving birth. And I'm like, I just feel cold to go and like, hey, wait, Cindy, 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 can you wait a second? Like... Can you just, can I feel your baby, right? Because it was the call for the baby. 
and I just go and I start talking to her and she's like, oh yeah, like, of course, he, every time you talk, like he's kicking and because she already filmed with me the first Mind Valley quest in Spanish, right? So the baby recognizes me and, and, and I knew this, we, we did a, a big connection on the Spanish quest, but then it was like, on the English one, it was, I was, I was like fully on like my mission, you know, and I hadn't even connected with the baby, right? And it was like, the baby wasn't letting me. It's like, hey man, you're too much in your head. That was the message when I put my hands and he was kicking and he was beyond like, oh, how sweet, the baby's so sweet, oh, amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful, but what's the message? Why am I being called to be this baby right now? Like, what's going on? And I just, we breathed together and we were there and like just present with it. And I was fully like surrendered. And in that moment, it was very simple. Be in your heart. Be in your heart. And I felt this opening huge. And that was it. It wasn't, I didn't have a vision. I didn't see my heart explode. Nothing. It, it, it was just like a feeling, not even the words. Sometimes you don't even hear the words. Sometimes I do, but it wasn't even like, be in your heart, you know, like a God kind of <laughs> kind of voice. The inner voice, your highest self, speaks in so many ways. And that was the simplicity. That was actually the message. There wasn't any more to say more than like, just breathe into your heart, man. You're too much in your head. What are you going to share with all those people? Like a bunch of words, you know? <laughs> That's great, but let them read a book if it's just a bunch of words. You want your heart to be shared. You want this is what gives the codes. This is what really helps people. And of course, if this is aligned and you have the right information, then the heart and the mind connect and do the electromagnetic frequency, right? Electric from, from the mind, from the brain, and magnetic from the heart. And when they are in coherency, then you're opening up to that full manifestation mode, radiancy mode, like magnetism, right? You become a magnet. But if you're just in the head and you're like, oh yeah, like all these concepts and all these things. And like, I could even see my ego almost like, yeah, man, I'm going to rock it. Like I have so much to talk about. You know, it was, we were in, in the third day. So we were going really deep. Like they were ready to take in more information and like really take it off. Right. So I was, and I, I saw my ego wanting to come through. Right. And I saw also like just the complication. I said half of what I had to say. I got people breathing while I was also talking because there was going to be a lot of mind into that. Like the course changed completely of what was written of the points I had to cover and stuff. And that was when I finished, guys, Every they hadn't clapped or done any like till that day, that lesson after I shared it, everybody stood up. Some people crying and like, oh my God, this touched me so deeply. Like that crew, you know, which is like a filming crew, but it's not usually people in personal development and all that. They're amazing, but you know, they're okay. They're on this all the time. And, and, and you know, there's some people from Costa Rica that weren't into, into fully into Mind Valley, you know, they're just professionals on their own thing. And they were crying, guys. Like it was so deep. We went so deep. And I'm like, wow, this is what listening is, you know? I could have just come and say what my mind was wanting to share and all the science and, and the thing and like, you know, be so proud about it. And then it's like, no, I listened. I was aware. I, I wasn't like, you know, when you're too much in your own little world, it's it's like you're like a horse with, with, with these things that blind them, right? So the horse doesn't get distracted. But they, then you can't see. You're just looking at the box. That's all you're doing, guys. You're just looking inside the box. And it's all the limitations inside the box. So when you step back and you stop and like, okay, something's feeling uncomfortable in my body. What is it? What's going on? What, what's the message here? What's the lesson here? And you just stop and ask. You get so connected to what's going on. 
because you can't plan these things on your head. I couldn't have thought like today I'm going to go and I'm going to connect with, with the baby and the baby's going to guide me, you know, and what better master when you're talking about inner truth and, and connection and, and listening to your soul and being present, like, is there a better master than a baby? Guys, come on. <laughs> like, best teachers ever, right? With my son, I received the biggest lessons ever. Not only the hard way, you know, having a baby, but the beautiful way that's like, wow, they're so tapped in that when you tap into them, it's like, boom. They're like, they're, they're, they're fully because they're still in the other side, right? They're still, especially in the, in the, in the belly, in the womb, the baby is it's, he's still there. The soul is there. It's, it's ready to pop and come out and say, you know, I'm here, but it's still fully tapped in. So when you tap into that, wow, it's like direct connection to source, direct, so simple, so sweet. Always there, always available. But the question is, are we listening? Are we listening? And no matter how much work you've done in your life, you're always going to have those moments where you are, you are unaware, where you are not present, when you're thinking too much of what's going on. You're planning the one, two, three, four, five, right? That is the beta brainwave. You're still there in that focus kind of thing, which is great. But if you don't come from beta to alpha, which is the observer, the meditator, the, the ah, just being, just relaxing, right? And you don't come to the theta brainwave, which is the, the hypnotic state of like, okay, I'm actually rewiring my mind to success right now, which is what we do in quantum flow. We enter all the states. We work with all the brainwaves in order for you to tap all your, your potential through the breath, through the body, through the mindset, right? But usually humanity is just lost in 90, you know, 99% is beta brainwave. It's like, I'm focusing one, two, three, four, five, rationality. And we don't, we never learn how to like back away from a, a little bit. It's like, okay, I need some different brainwaves right now. Let me just kind of just, 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 just be grateful for being alive and awake, you know, just be grateful for being. Let, let me just take some time to, to be grateful for being, where it's not related to what I'm doing, it's not related where I'm going, right? We talk about this all the time, especially in my near-death experience, right? If you didn't look at that live stream, let me know. We'll send you the link because it was very profound. Uh, you can write down near-death experience and we'll share with you the link so you can watch it because I was fully in trance mode still. It just had happened. And, and um, yeah, I got the news from like my mother uh, with, a, with a very harsh sickness. And um, yeah, it was, it was a very, very tough moment. So I shared like from that vulnerable space, so much came through. So if you wanna know that, you wanna hear about that, um, yeah, just comment below near death experience and we'll share with you. Uh, the whole thing it was pretty intense and a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, goodies coming through from that of course as any experience right there's there's nothing good or bad guys this 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 kind of behavior of the mind that that we always tag uh, this is good and, and that's bad why did this happen you know and, and it's like thank you actually let me first of all see how did I attract this if I'm involved in it somehow um, we're always involved somehow somewhere we're vibrating in a certain way that that's creating that so i always ask my question instead of putting it out there for me it's the most important it's like okay okay where am i vibrating like this what's the lesson right what this is what is this for so it's, it's always good to look at that and then be you know open and available right for the next step and okay so that's supposed to be a challenge how can i turn it into opportunity and I'm constantly asking myself that question, constantly, right? And there's a time where you kind of rewire that behavior. You rewire yourself to live that way, right? This is what we do with quantum flow, actually. And, and actually, oh, um, actually, that's something I wanted to share with you guys. I am doing a free webinar called uh, Inner Mastery which 
for me, it's all about these themes we're talking about. How to tap into your energy, how to tap into your intuition, how to trust yourself again, how to see all the stories you're playing and how to come out of those stories and open up to the big vision and start manifesting. Like, it's owning that co-creator that you are. It's owning that um, radiant being that you are just by being aware of who you are and how to tap into all the layers of your being. So I will be sharing uh, deep teachings on self, like I call it more inner mastery. It's, I don't believe uh, there is something like self mastery because self is already master. The self is already a master, like the self being. For me, that's mastery. We're actually tapping into that, which is our natural state. But the inner mastery, that's a result of, that, of tapping into that self-awareness. Uh, self with S, right? Big S. It's like the self, the being, the I am. When I am aware of I am and how infinite I am and all the infinite possibilities I have available, of course... I become the master and it's not the master controller is the master flower yeah so if you're interested comment below with um, inner mastery and we'll, we'll share with you the link because really anything in life guys anything you want to upgrade in your life anything you want to take to the next level anything you want to open to the way is through that inner mastery you really start tapping into your full potential and you really start opening your eyes every eye of your being right not only these two eyes because we're lost too much in these two eyes but in that center eye which is when i close these eyes of illusion these eyes that that are kind of lost in the horizontal world i open up this eye oneness like this is duality this is duality this is like this is separation i'm separated from the world right i'm separated from life like whoa there's a separation this is unity so once we learn how to tap into this there's no separation anymore you can you know kind of get lost here and there but you're not lost in the matrix anymore you come back you come back and it's all about all that all the biohacks on how to come back as fast and as aware and as soon as possible so you're not lost in the loops because sometimes come on guys how many times we get lost in the loops of procrastination distraction self-sabotage addictions like all the games of the 3d world which are amazing right we love the pleasures and all that but if there's no depth to the pleasures and if there's no depth to like what i'm doing and where i'm at we'll keep getting lost on this right and and time goes by and then it's like whoa 10 years just went by and whoa i still have that vision and how close am i from it right i haven't put on my work because the vision that comes through you is there for a reason you're being called to do that it's not your ambition it's not like oh this is too big for me it's coming through you for a reason the thing is, are you supporting the vision? Because you are a co-creator. You're here to support that. So are you supporting in every way possible for that to happen through you? And that means we are in a collaboration with the universe. It's not, I hear a lot like, okay, if it's God's will, you know, in Costa Rica, they say a lot, si Dios quiere, right? It's like, if God wants, and then it's like, God always wants. Like, the universe is always willing. Like, if you are tapped into your soul, if it's coming from your soul and, and it's the vision and you're just following up on that as a channel of the divine, of the energetic love, universal love, it's going to flow through. Maybe not the way you want to, maybe not the way you thought of or visualized it, but it's going to happen. That thing is, are we in collaboration? Are we listening? Are we waking up at that 4.30 in the morning that they wake you up? And they're still waking me up at that time. Guys, it's been a long time. And my best ideas and my best downloads and my best connection I have with spirit is at that time. I actually wake up 
through my solar plexus is like wake up sometimes four sometimes 4 30 boom i get up i sit i don't struggle with it anymore try to sleep i'm like thank you spirit thank you so much okay i'm aware i'm available boom one hour an hour and a half whatever happens sometimes it's less you know sometimes then in in through the meditation i also fall asleep sometimes sometimes i'm not i'm fully aware you know and then i lie down and i sleep till you know sometimes even till seven it doesn't matter like whatever my body needs to sleep i don't even get up at that time but i get up to receive because that's when the downloads are coming through not when my ego wants okay Juanpa, wait at 6 a.m i'll be there available no it's like hey wake up it's coming through right now the thing is are you available are you open are you um collaborating and being there for spirit to flow through and yes sometimes it's uncomfortable yeah yeah it's uncomfortable for who for ego the soul is never uncomfortable it's just the ego that says oh oh wow i'm so comfy here it's so hot like it's so nice and oh it's so sweet you know i look at regan and regan it's like my partner right my wife and she's like oh in heaven you know and like i look at her i'm like oh i just want to cuddle her right and it's like no the spiritual warrior it's like i know I know I'm here to receive. I'm, I know I'm here to open up. And I take my journal after that and, and, and let it flow. And then it feels so amazing. But in the moment, of course, I feel uncomfortable, right? But that is listening. Let me just tell you a, a last story I had with one of my teachers, actually. She lives in Trois-Rivières. Um, that's between Quebec and Montreal. I went, I lived in Canada for around like two years and a half on and off in different places, studying with different teachers. And with this teacher, I, I spent like total a year on and off and that she's actually a breatharian. I don't know if you know what a breatharian is. Let me know if you know what a breatharian is. Um, it's someone that doesn't need food. They're just, um, breathing prana right at a cellular level they, they are they, they're tapped into the energy so they open the channel and it's just they eat light so to say and you know they use grounding and they use sun gazing of course there's a whole methodology that you know i want i went to 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 study all that uh with her and and more than that um it was for me the most important, like, I want to learn how to tap into my soul. I want to learn how to tap into, like, my guidance, my intuition. Like, that's why I went, you know, to, to, to her school. And um, I remember on my hardest times, guys, like, we were there. We were there. Um, part of the time I was there was in full winter, like, full snow. But... If you guys are from Canada, you'll understand, right? When it snows in that part, in Montreal, Quebec, whatever, it's like a meter and a half. Like, it's deep, right? And it was just starting to snow. It was very cold. I live in Costa Rica, right? Before, like, I was used to tropics. So I was kind of like, I loved snow, but ah, the cold was too much, right? So we're doing this practice with her about aligning with our soul, connecting with our soul. And it was a lot about, oh, okay, so listen. And whenever they connect and, and ask you something and invite you into something, go for it. So I was so pumped and it's like, yes, of course, we're available. We're working with journals. We're working a lot with the dreams, a lot analyzing the dreams and seeing how the inner guidance talks to the through the dreams. And it was just so beautiful. I was... It was best ever for me. I was like, that was one of the best moments of my life, you know, fully like, fully surrendered. That was like 25 years ago, imagine. That was so long ago, right? And I was there um, like, a, like a baby a little bit, you know, like really learning and going deeper into like my connection, my real connection with my guides and my spiritual guides and like, light beings and like starting to open up and see them and have direct contact with them it was it was very profound one day i got up at 3 a.m 
woken up, same thing, like here in the solar plexus. And it was like, knock, 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 knock. Hello? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, it's not, it's not even light yet. Like, what's going on? And I fall again asleep, right? And then it's like, tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, okay, I remember, because I was kind of like very deep in the sleep, right? The delta wave kind of like, woo! And they was bringing me back and I was out of it, right? So then when I got to my conscious mind i'm like oh okay yeah yeah i'm doing the work with the guides okay it must be the guides calling me okay whatever the time is let me feel into this intuition and um of course i get up and okay let me check like yeah definitely there's something so i sit down i meditate um i look at the time just to like oh maybe it's gonna 3 a.m. in the morning, okay like what <laughs> okay let me just sit down and receive and I'm starting to have images of this beautiful place in the land but it's like 500 meters away like besides a river that's actually frozen and there's like a little ranch in there like a little ceiling right and that's it it's fully open and I'm seeing myself there meditating and it's like you want to listen? Okay, take a walk. Let's see how committed are you. You know, that was my interpretation. Of course, they don't tell you that. For me, it was just like, that's the vision, that's the place. When I visualized myself there, there, it felt amazing. Yeah, that's one of the signs you get when you're tapped into your intuition. It just feels, it feels really good to do something or say something or be somewhere, right? So I'm like, okay, this is definitely a confirmation. Let me, let me go for a walk and I put all my stuff. Guys, it was like a meter and a half of snow. It just snowed all night. It was crazy walking through. Like it took me so long, so much work. Oh my God, it was, it was, it was heavy, right? And I just remember arriving there and being angry 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 with myself i felt stupid i felt like you know my ego coming through because ego always comes through your unconscious mind wants to stop you from opening up to the next level that's how it is it's your comfortable zone right so i'm like oh okay i knew it was that and okay let me just breathe through it let me just work through it because if you're stuck in your ego in your mind going at a thousand kilometers an hour you can go to the top of the himalayas with the most amazing guru you're not going to receive anything because your mind is blocking you right and i'm aware like i've done all this work i'm here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna feed this story like no way let me breathe into this i start breathing i start moving i start moving the energy right and then boom i sink in and wow that was, I would say, like my first spiritual awakening, my first like deep Kundalini activation opening, enlightenment, like boom. Uh, my brain wanted to explode, like my whole body was trembling. I was lost for, for quite, a, quite a while. And it was just heaven. I was like, this is heaven on earth. And I stayed there like for so long, guys. And I can tell you something. There's nothing, nothing on in life materially that could give me that sensation. Nothing. No relationship, no material stuff, the best house in the, uh, the best country I dream on to travel. Like nothing external could give me the state I was in without needing anything or anyone and the message was we are always here your guides are always there for you always your guides your angels energies intuition inner voice call it whatever you want don't get lost in that the energy is here to guide you always the thing is are you listening are you trusting and are you acting upon it and that was my soul gym it's like okay i listen i trusted i saw it i okay and then the act i could have just stayed there no i'm gonna meditate here no guys it didn't feel right to meditate on my bed like the whole thing was like 
let's see. It was like almost like a quest, you know, when you do a vision quest, right? It's like, boom. And I went and it was the biggest gift for me. And what was the lesson? It's like nothing material compares to your connection with your inner self, your highest self, your essence, source, your intuition. Call it whatever you want. It's always there. Always there. And we're not listening because there's too much chatter going on. Too much going on. And, of course, what helped me come out of the chatter? The breath, the movement, come into your body. For me, just sitting down sometimes in meditation doesn't work. I need to move. I need to shift stuff. Some people can just sit down and meditate. Sometimes I can. I just... But sometimes I do just enough to get me into my body, fully present, let go of the stories, being in that observer mode where I go into deeper states of consciousness and meditation and awareness, you know? But there's, you know, there's a whole methodology to that. And coming back to people that have just joined, if you want to join this, met like learn about this methodology, um, I'll, I'm going to be teaching this inner mastery training. It's all about connecting with that inner master that you are, that inner leader that you are, that radiant being that you are, yeah. And, and how to live your life from that space so you don't get lost in all this chatter, in all this mind fog, in all this distraction, in all this, you know, uh, craziness that sometimes is in the outside world and we forget that connection with, with who we really are, with the simplicity of, of the soul, the simplicity of life, the simplicity of the heart. Yes. So if you want to come into that training, guys, I recommend um, just uh, write down Inner Mastery and we'll share with you the link to do this free training. That's what it's all about. It's what I want to share uh, from all these insights and really give you guys the right tools and open the door for you guys that want to go deeper into your life, that want to go deeper into applying these principles and upgrading every area of your life through listening, not through a strategy. I'm not going to give you a strategy. The strategy comes from within. Once you tap in, what I can offer is the pathway so you can tap into that. That's all I can offer because only you can tap into that, right? What happens a lot in society is that we're looking for external. Show me, teach me. Uh, I want to memorize that system and that strategy. Let me apply it. That's going to take you to a certain point. And then you're going to reach the top and that's it. You're not going to expand more because it's not, you're not listening to the unique codes coming through. You're not listening to what's available to you and just to you through your inner guidance, right? You're just copying someone else, someone else's, you know, strategy. Which is great, it worked for them, but maybe it's not going to work for you. Right? So, it's so important. That's the biggest, the biggest gift you can receive. And that's why I want to share it as a gift. It's a free training. Inner mastery training. And then to have the possibilities, guys. Whoever wants to learn this methodology and teach it around the world, there's many possibilities. We're, we're starting a training very soon. It's a training around um, teaching this method and how to help others upgrade every area of your life. And this training begins with you. If you don't do the work, I see so many people out there like learning how to teach and it's all about spirituality and personal work and all. And it's like, okay, you're learning all the theory, but are you really doing the work? Like it starts with us. Like that's the first teaching we do. We embody the teachings and we emanate the teachings and that's the best teachings you can give others through embodiment, through you embodying them, right? So that's the first step. And then it's like, oh yeah, I've done the work. I felt that this feels so awesome. I also want to teach the method. So that's also available. 
very, very deep work, guys. So that's coming very soon. If you're interested in all of these methodologies and going deeper into your intuition and going deeper into what we call synchronicity. Synchronicity is what happened to me with Mind Valley, what I was telling you. I arrived. I was in my own world. I wasn't tapping into the infinite possibilities. I was thinking too much what I was going to say and planning too much, you know, a little bit like almost in like full like mind ecstasy because I love it too. It's great. But then from there, it's like, okay, now what's available? And that's where I felt the call from the baby. I feel into the baby and I tap into the deepest of my heart. And then it's like the teachings came in a very different way. And I'm sure when people are going to feel this and follow them, it's going to touch them in a very different way. When it's just from the mind, it nurtures your mind. But it's when it's from the mind and the heart, whoa, you know, you get the teachings, but your heart is open. And you can feel it. You can embody it. There's, there's no deeper gift than that. So that's the synchronicity. I got there. I felt something weird here. I wasn't aligned to synchronicity. I wasn't in flow, right? I thought I was in flow, but I was lost a little bit in my own story, right? In my own planning. And then I hear, I look at the baby, and it's like, oh, can I touch the baby, mama? And yes, of course, and Phil is kicking and, and playing with me, right? And then I, poof, I receive. Hey, it's simple. It's about the heart. Don't get so lost in the mind right now. It's a second. And that brought me to a different state. Then I went, when I entered the room, like all the cameras and everywhere and everybody super like that. I was like, whoa, no, I'm here just sharing like pure vulnerable heart space. And when I sat down and started talking, I opened up with a story. And I opened up fully about with my vulnerability and my personal path and what happened to me. And I touched so many people. Everything flowed so well, not planned, way better than how, why, how it was planned, you know? But this happened because I listened. So I listened, I followed the steps, and that's the synchronicity. Then all these things open up and open up and open up. And that brought us to change the next lesson because this lesson was already upgraded. So the next lesson was upgraded, right? And then that changed the practice. And when I did the practice, that was changed, I received way more information that opened me up to the next level. And the next, and guys, this is how it works. When you listen, when you're available, you take one step after the other, that synchronicity. You don't know what's going to happen, you know, 10 steps ahead, but you are going with the flow. And the universe is supporting you and giving you the signs, the signals that you're on the right track. You're listening. You're doing it. And we all have this availability. We all have the flow state available all the time, right? So again, my last invitation, if you're just tapping into this live stream, I will be doing an inner mastery training deep for free. Comment below with inner mastery and we will share with you the link. Would love to have you there. I'm just going to check now any questions. Um, because I ask if you guys had some questions. Any questions you have around intuition? Any questions? Any questions about what I talk now? Let me know, Familia. I'm here for you. Also in Instagram, if you have any questions, anything you want to ask around intuition, around listening to your inner voice, around anything, guys. That's why I'm here. I'm here to support you guys. So, so please. Okay, there's a lot of good comments. I love to hear from you, but there's no questions. Great. So any questions you have, guys, always please let me know. And, um, and anything you want to share, love to hear from you. Even if you're watching the replay and there's something that comes through, just, uh, just ask about it. All right? I always love connecting with you guys here. And here I'm receiving lots of hearts. 
let's see if there's wow so many people tuning in that's amazing uh -huh. i feel my intuition was suppressed for years and i'm ready and to have it and longing for it what do you recommend uh nicole i recommend really tapping into deep deeply tapping into your breath your breath is the doorway to intuition because your breath is what really calms down your nervous system okay it's for me the fastest way there's many biohacks i'm a biohacker right like i'm all about biohacking the nervous system and like understanding how it works um because i know it's the base of everything like your chakras right your energetic vortexes that you can actually take photos about them um they come from the nervous system we can actually measure the light that's coming through your body and how much light you're channeling we can actually take photos of that right that's not a woo-woo thing anymore and it all comes to the nervous system so <clears throat> Because of our life and our stories from the past, our nervous system has been wired for survival. It means your nervous system is always at the defensive, like, oh, I'm going to get hurt. They can steal from me. Something can happen. I can have an accident. I can die. Like, there's so much that's going They can hurt me like I can open, you know, my heart fully and be fully intimate because I can get hurt because I've already got hurt so many times. So very very deep i'm talking at a very unconscious level even you're like i'm ready for my next love you know very deep inside there's a part that's still kind of holding back like oh yes but what if i get hurt what if that doesn't happen what if i invest that money and i don't get the results i wanted what if like there's always that doubt which is it's great it's the rational mind that gets in the way but many times uh it's coming from an unconscious mind and the unconscious mind is completely connected to your nervous system and to what we call the grounding substance in the nervous system, which is actually a very beautiful, shiny substance, right? That makes everything kind of flow and like all the connections to be the best. But when you have little traumas in your life and when you like um, have like experiences where you got hurt or something happened with, that wasn't pleasant, your nervous system starts contracting and creating these micro crystals in this substance, right? So um, this grounding substance starts getting like a little bit more viscous and, and ah, more crystallized. And that electricity that's flowing is not going to flow as when it was flowing as you were a baby, right? When you, that purity and that like, oh, that's that, that's kind of like with time it gets stuck and stuck and stuck and all the nervous plexus start contracting right so the nervous plexus contract and the more they contract because of your past memories that's called body memory the more that the less energy is going to flow the less electricity because the nervous system is all about electricity right and yes we are light beings that's true you can actually see it in the nervous system it's pure light right so when the channels of light which is the nervous system are contracted and your whole body feels is in survival mode you're working on the first three chakras you're working just on this survival mode which is you know the pelvic floor the navel the sexual organs and here the solar plexus which is the willpower the you know the strongest is the and the fittest is the one that survives you know, and the majority of human beings live there. And this is, has been inherited too from generation to generation. So you're born even with that in your DNA, right? So it's very deep. So that's why I recommend the work to do. It's like unravel your nervous system. And this is what I'm going to be teaching in the inner mastery training. It's all about how to work with the nervous system to release all of that story from the nervous system. For me, that's like the base where, where, where it all began and where you're going to open. Because once you open and the electricity, the energy, the light is flowing all the way into your brain, into your pineal gland, your pineal gland is what opens up. It cracks open. Usually, it's, the pineal gland is calcified, right? And it's like, ah, uh, it's like mineralized all around it. So you're tapping into like 5% of the pineal gland. But once you open up more and more and more and you start waking up the power of the pineal gland, what happens, it's like 
you start tapping into your intuition more and more. You start listening more. You start having visions. You start um, just knowing things. Just knowing, tapping into that inner wisdom that's always available. It's a very beautiful journey, but it takes some time. So I would recommend starting with all of this. And, and yeah, comment below with Inner Mastery if you want to if you want to do that training, it's for free. And I'm going to be setting you up with a, lo a lot of like different ways how to tap into that. Yeah. And then I would recommend constantly stopping and just listening. Am I available right now? Am I open to my inner guidance, to my intuition? What's going on? Let me just breathe. Let me just calm down. Let me just be available. I do that all the time. Especially when I see myself getting lost in the story. With too much going on in my outside world, I'm like, okay, Wampa, I'm not in my highest right now. Let me back up a little bit, step back, and now do my quantum flow, which is what I'll be teaching you, right? Do my quantum flow, get back to that, you know, inner mastery, and from that place of observation, Okay, is this feeling good? Shall I continue this path? Is this okay to still be with this group of people? You know, when you're in with a group of people and you're like, oh, it just feels uncomfortable. I, I don't feel that like it's the best for me right now. There's something else for me right now, right? Like all that inner knowing, you know that in your gut. It's a gut feeling. The thing is, are you tapping into that gut feeling? Or are you lost in the stories of the mind, right? So, yes, this is something very important. You can tap into it. Can it help to get unstuck in general? I feel stagnant since a few, few months. Yes, you can totally get unstuck. Because the part that's stuck, it's just the ego coming through. It's just your mind. Your mind stayed in a box, you know? And it remained in the box. So what we do with the methodology with quantum flow, we bring the mind out of the box. So you can... You know, think bigger, connect to the big picture, step back so you can see the whole picture and not get lost in like, this is the only way, right? That's when we're stagnant. We are repeating the same patterns, walking in the same way, posture is the same, the breathing is the same, the thoughts are the same, uh, the emotions that I get stuck in are the same. Like our nervous system has, has been fired and wired in the same way for so long that you have created your own personality. But the good news is you can reframe that personality. Your personality is malleable. You can open it up to actually support you into deeper layers of your purpose, support you into deeper layers of freedom, more energy, more ideas, more love, more abundance. Everything's available, but if we don't come out of the box, you won't see it. You'll stay acting, thinking, doing everything in the same way, and that's when you get stuck. All right? How do you think I could balance uh, my life during exams? Breathe, do your quantum flow, Breathe, center yourself. When you're open and you're in that space of full receptivity, you know what happens. What happens is that you're available to something beyond what you're memorizing. You're available to the wisdom inside of you. It's not just something you learn and you're going to forget. Right? You tap into the wisdom. And once you understand the concept of whatever you're learning but you understand the core of it, then it's easier. You don't have to memorize it. You know it, right? But that happens again when you sink deep into your body. Sink deep and let your nervous system know that you're safe, that you're good, that you're open and receptive for something bigger to come through. You're not lost in like, I need to learn this and oh my God, I don't have time and the test is tomorrow. It's, it's just a mind chatter, you know? Many people learn by that. I learned like that my whole high school, you know? And oh my God, it was so much suffering. So much suffering. And I don't remember anything, anything from high school. Like when I learned new methodologies on how to learn, 
or actually how to remember the wisdom that's inside of me, inside of us, because it's inside of every one of us. We all have the availability to it, right? But that's what you tap into. Yeah, and I invite you to the Inner Mastery training, free training, so you can learn more about this, because that's what Quantum Flow is all about, how to tap into your inner wisdom. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I'm loving your questions, guys. I don't see Facebook as tapped into their questions. Everybody seems to just be in the flow. Instagram is more like full-on questions. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Nadia, can it unravel itself unconsciously with intention? Or is a more it's a process that's more complex? Both. Once you tap into you, this is what we do with like quantum flow. We're tapping into your natural state. Once you, when you come into, every time you come into your natural state where you're in harmony, you're focused, you're centered, you're tapped into, you know, like way beyond the doing and the thinking and the, the 3D world, you're tapped into that deep space, you are rewiring your nervous system. That's happening. Just by giving the nervous system that taste of like, hey, look, there's something bigger. Like after I was telling that experience that I had with my teacher in Quebec, right? And I, I had this enlightenment going through and like I opened up to like so much energy and I got lost in time and space for so long. It was so powerful. But Juanpa was never the same after that. Never. Never. I didn't think the same. I didn't act the same. Like there was a deeper consciousness of who I am. And that's the process of enlightenment. Like you can get a lot of, of enlightenment experiences, experiences. They build up with time. And you are opening to deeper layers. That's why when it's like, oh, that person is fully enlightened. It's like, oh, really? Okay. Well, good luck, you know. Like if you're in a human body, you're always opening to deeper layers. That's why you are here in a human body. You're, there's always more. So you can have an enlightenment experience, experience, and like, boom, like I understood everything, right? And there's more. There's more. There's different, deeper layers. Uh, so you don't get stuck, right? So yes, it happens naturally by you tapping into your natural state, but you can accelerate it. And that's what we do with these practices of quantum flow. We're working deeply on the, the nervous system. Sometimes it's five, ten minutes. You don't need much time. But you do need commitment. It's not just going to happen like, oh, it's just my intention. It's going to happen. There's a lot of story in there, you know. And people's thinking that just with intention and just with like, you know, the, doing things with intention and with their mind, they're going to get there. I mean, it's going to help, but it's just going to go way slower. And sometimes you can't access the, the deepest traumas or the deepest like suffering patterns that have been set in your nervous system from the past. Sometimes it's not that easy to tap into them. You know, they're called blind spots. They're like under the scenes. You can't see them. They're holding you back because they're keeping you in the box, but they're like blind spots. So... That's part of the quantum flow methodology. We're revealing the blind spots so you can see yourself and you can work on it and release it and bring it back to its natural state. So yeah, that's what we do in the inner mastery training. If you want to do it, it's for free. I invite you to join us and then let's do it together. Let's see if we have any other question here. So many people joining through. Amazing. Thank you for your teachings. Yeah, Desi, Pura Vida, Desi. How food works on the nervous system. Well, it's the same. When you're aligned with the food that your body's asking you, your nervous system is going to be relaxed and safe. When you're putting all this stuff and rubbish into your nervous system, right? Especially sugar. What does sugar do? Sugar pumps your nervous system way up high. So your nervous system, it's like because sugar, uh, white sugar, it's not um, digested, right? It goes right into your brain. 
like your liver doesn't see it because it's 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 been treated so many chemicals and it doesn't have like all the fiber of like the raw sugar so it goes straight and that's why you even feel the sugar high right it actually feels good for some seconds because it's like whoa <laughs> you feel the buzzing and stuff but it's just being like putting a lot of electricity on your nervous system because it picks up and then it brings it down and it picks up and then it brings it down and that creates a mess it's like uh, playing with the amount of electricity entering your nervous system so all these foods that are like genetically modified and like are in cans and have all these chemicals and have all this like stuff that is not even food you know it's plastic that's gonna affect your nervous system for sure because what does your body take it in it's like i have an invader i have an invader in my body right now what is this what's going on and all your body goes into alert bam 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 you know it's like there's a cancer in the body you know so that's why food is so important and you gotta find the balance and and eat from a place of like what's right for you in that moment of your life not the perfect diet by the perfect teacher i mean there's so much going on i'm a nutritionist myself i've done all the diets i can tell you there's only one truth and it's about you listening clearing your body and detoxifying to a way that you can really listen to your gut and not from a place of like what tastes the best but what my body really needs and you can train your body in that and we, that's what we do with Quantum Flow. That's what Quantum Flow is all about. We have detox um, journeys too that really help you reset your gut and reset your palate so you're not just eating from an addictive place or from a place of just pleasure. But how can you balance pleasure with the best vibes for your body or what your body needs in the moment? Not because now you're this kind of diet, but because that's what gets you in the highest vibration and that's what your body needs it's very interesting so yeah it's all related of course how long does it take to rewire you gotta do the work i, I wouldn't ask how long it's just committing yourself to going deeper and deeper you know i've rewired a lot and i've manifested like a lot of my ideal life through this rewiring you know i i've done so much and there's so much more to do, you know, but, you know, I manifested like the partner of my dreams, like my dream woman, like right there. She lives with me for five years, you know, I manifested my, my abundance life and getting a land where I could do my retreat center and I could be with my community and bring people in and like have springs and waterfalls and fruit trees and, and everything I've dreamed on uh, when I was a, a teenager, you know, like I've manifested that through rewiring myself because I had a lot of scarcity beliefs. I'm not good enough. I can't do that. It's so hard. Money doesn't grow on trees, all that, you know. I manifested going deeper into my purpose, you know, all with this work and helping millions of people, all with this work, everything I'm sharing with you guys, right? So it is possible. And I've seen so many clients have results, but at the same time, they're on the work they've had a lot of results but they know there's so much more like we're so used to fast food guys it's so used to like let me just go and pay at mcdonald's and have my hamburger in one minute it, we, we we're such spoiled brats you know it's like how long does it take and how much and oh my god and it's so hard and whoa i'm so used to like amazon prime and then having everything home in, in a minute you know We've been spoiled by the system and it's great, but that's not how it works with a lot of stuff that's going on in your body, especially stuff that you're rewiring from way, way back. So there is some work to do, but you can see results like in one session. Like we do one, one quantum flow activation and you're there. You can tap into what it feels to feel freedom, to feel love, to feel bliss. Like you tap into it on the first session if you surrender to it. That's the good thing, like you can savor and be in the state, right? But uh, it's not that you finish your activation and then, you know, the partner of your dreams is out there on the door waiting for you, right? <laughs> Some people promise you that, but no, that's not how it works. Like if you know that method, please let me know. I'm all about it. So please share it with me. 
I love to hear from that. <laughs> but I've had pretty amazing like synchronicities happen to me and my clients and students like all the time, all the time, constantly. So you do see and have those tastes um, sometimes faster than, than what you can imagine. And, and yeah, it, it depends on what you're manifesting and what you're creating and what you're opening up to. It all depends, right? Any other question? When will you offer a detox journey? Um, we have it right now. Just come in with detox. Um, it's a 30-day detox journey, which we do to detoxify at a cellular level. And uh, we detoxify stuck emotions from our past. And we detoxify um, energies stuck in our bodies. And we detoxify... Um, mindset like beliefs that are holding you back so my detox programs are way deeper than oh let's just get some green juices going and fasting and detoxifying uh, at a body level like we work on on every on all the organs on all the meridians on the muscles related to the meridians like it's full like kinesiology Chinese medicine um, energetics uh, holistic nutrition like we do all of it all of the approach so if you want to know more about it, just, just write uh, Detox and I can share with you that, that program. We use Quantum Flow, but all focused on Detox, right? So it's a very special, like, profound uh, program. Yeah. There's a lot of work for me to do. Yeah, Sony, we all have a lot of work to do. That's the beauty of being alive in a body right it's actually good instead of seeing like oh my god this is so heavy oh my god it's gonna take so long it's like wow amazing let's do this right so guys if you haven't shared this before i invite you to share this live stream it really helps because i'm offering this like all this you know free talk and 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 and, and messages and, and advices for people and i'm going to be doing the free inner mastery training if you know of someone that can really benefit from this anyone that wants to take their life to the next level anyone that's like oh a little stuck and like they're ready to go into the next level of their business or their relationships or their energy or their purpose like whatever it works on every area of your life so if you're one of them or you know of someone please tag them let them know share this live stream maybe share it um, in groups or wherever you can share it it'll be really really appreciated because we're gonna be sharing a lot that can help many people right now and if you can press the share button right now and share it that that's amazing so they know this is happening and they know like they can come and and, uh, and and go deeper into what inner mastery is and, and and how that relates to every area of their life. So yeah, if you're just running into this live stream right now, comment below with inner mastery and we will share with you the, the link of the training. Free training happening very soon and you're all invited to understand the, the art and science of inner mastery. Oh, the team is sharing all the links right now. You guys are so amazing. Yeah, they're so good. I'm talking and the team is like, boom, boom, boom. You see that's presence, guys. Like, I don't even tell them these things. They're, they're just on it, you know. They love this so much and they love seeing people thrive so much that you see this is synchronicity. It's like, boom, 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 boom. It's happening. It's so beautiful, right? Like, that's being aligned without like having to be controlling people or guiding people or telling people things like that happens in family that happens in business that happens in intimate relationship with your partner like you get to this level of like connection even without words you know it's an energetic connection tapping into what's the highest right now what is the next step and we're all in the same process that's the beauty that's the magic of life right Oh, Sammy's here. Hello, Sammy. What's up? Sammy from New Zealand. She just left. Uh, she just left the nest, Costa Rica. They just got a piece of land here, a beautiful lot, ocean view lot. And, and they, she just messaged me like, oh my God, I'm so in love with this. And she just came to Peru and did the whole work, right? So it's so good to see you around here because it's like, you see, 
even though people have done the work, I mean, she just came and did like a nine-day retreat with us, right? Fully, fully into it, like fully open to everything we shared. Her and her partner, her whole family actually came and they took their life to the next level, right? They loved it so much that then they came to the nest and they're like, we want to be in this community, right? And they came and bought land, right? <laughs> and then now she's tuning into like the, the training and it's like, yes, like inner mastery, like what's going on, right? It's, it's so beautiful, guys, when people are committed and, and, and we know there's always more. And it doesn't come from a place of ambition. It comes from a place of awareness that in order to open up to our full potential, there needs to be perseverance. There needs to be commitment. There needs to... And, and what we find with quantum flow is like we find what we call the bliss discipline. You know, it's not being the best disciplined student and you know that's so boring like i was i lived in discipline for so long and i'm gonna do a live stream around that maybe tomorrow i want to share with you that now that i'm free i want to i want to i want to share more stuff so maybe tomorrow i'll do a live stream around discipline. I, I that helped me so much guys i was such a disciplined like spiritual student you know and wow it took like the whole magic of spirituality away from me like the whole magic of personal development like the whole magic of of food and enjoying food everything because i was perfect i was always trying to be perfect you know the perfect student uh, the perfect like nutritionist the perfect yoga teacher the perfect like uh, shaman the perfect everything i did but it was like step by step of how i learned it and how i did it and that was great that serves but to a certain moment you gotta open up to intuition. You gotta open up to the next level, and that's when I opened up to quantum flow, and and I opened up to to creating this system that is based on everything I've learned for you know, since I'm nine years old, right? I'm 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 I'm, I'm almost forty nine now, so that's forty years ago that I started getting into this path through like my brother and the sickness my brother had, right? So I got really deep into this work from a very young age, but guys like. It takes so much time to, yes, get all the universal principles and go deep into all this path, but then allow uh, a system that mixes the most advanced science that works on the nervous system and the most, like, the, the essence of all the ancestral wisdom, right? So it's a mix of both. That's, that's what quantum flow is. It mixes them both because... I found out seven years ago I was a full scientist and I loved to understand, you know, even though I was kind of <clears throat> away from it, you know, in all my spiritual path. But then it really took me to the next level in spirituality, like demystify spirituality so I can go deeper into my spiritual path. It was crazy, right? So my whole work was taken to the next level after that. And that's when uh, Quantum Flow was born. Yeah, I used to call it shamanic yoga like 10 years ago shamanic yoga and it was like in shamanic healing and, and, and a lot of like shamanic work because it worked with a lot of ancestral techniques you know from like not only yogis and, and qigong masters but like shamans also from like india and shamans from like china and and, and shamans of course from america which i'm i'm all about i've studied with so many people from from like Central and, and, you know, Mexico all the way down to Peru, right? There's so much knowledge and wisdom there. But when you study all the cultures and you go deep into ancestral wisdom, you see that every ancestral wisdom has, they all the shamanic wisdom connects. It's all the same, guys. It's all the same principles. They name it differently. They put it in different ways. But it's all the same thing and once you understand those principles and you bring the science into them and find the ways how to accelerate all that process that's happening in the body in the nervous system that's when you start tapping into deeper layers of intuition in the fastest way that's available without rushing it just accelerating the process that's all you're just what's going to happen in one year maybe could happen in a, in a week you know, it's going to happen anyway, but you're just bringing the future to the now. That's what quantum flow is. Okay. All right, guys. I think 
what do you recommend to learn all about quantum flow? Um, just come to the training. Uh, I will be doing this inner mastery training. Comment below with inner mastery so we can share with you the information. And then there's a training happening around quantum flow. Nicole, uh, we're starting the training like in around 15 days. And it's all the, the method we're going to be sharing. Like it's an eight-week immersion of self-transformation. But while you're self-transforming, you also have um, all the information on how to start teaching that. So the first is like you upgrade your life to the next level. You take your mind and, and your connection to the next level. And then you teach others how to do the same if that's what you love. That's what I love. I travel the world, you know, 20 countries a year sharing quantum flow. That's all I do. I speak about it. I do activations. I do retreats about it. I work in the most beautiful places in the world. And it's all through quantum flow. So people that love this, that love mindsets and love personal development and love the spiritual work and love like uh, entrepreneurship and love like going deep into purpose and also love like altered states of consciousness and how to live in flow state and how to take their relationships to the next level, they all call me in because they're like, okay, Juanpa, let's take quantum flow to the next level. So I come and I teach them. It can be online or it can be in person and we just go deep in all the methodology. And that's what I do, guys. That's what I do around the world. And that's what I'm teaching. Uh, whoever wants to join that, the quantum flow training, that's happening very soon too. So if you wanna, if you're interested, just uh, just reach out to me, comment comment below with Quantum Flow and we can share with you the information. But I, I recommend you start with the Inner Mastery training because the Inner Mastery is the base of Quantum Flow. Like that's the roots. Once you understand it, you, ah, you embody it, your life goes to the next level just by that. So if you haven't done that before, uh, just come in with Inner Mastery. Hey, Daniel, beautiful to see you, hermano. What's up, man? So good to see you here. Quantum flow for life. I'm recording the training for the fourth time. <laughs> Guys, I hear this all the time. Quantum flow practitioners. And let me know if, if in Facebook you guys have done the quantum flow also and you've done the training how many times. Like, let us know how, how much you've received from this training, right? Because there's always deeper layers. And now that we're starting this training, I have like 100 practitioners saying like, I want to do it again. Same training, guys. Nothing new. But you are in a different state. So you take the same training to the next level it opens up something different it wakes up another part of your brain it takes you to the next level it's so interesting right to see um comment below guys if, if that's you because i know many of you here many of you are quantum flow practitioners in in facebook so yeah let's hear from you so many so many people you know, are in the process. And that's the beauty. Like you do the training, but then you have the training available forever. You keep going and you keep going and you keep going. It goes deeper and deeper. <laughs> right, Danielle? It's, 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 uh, it's amazing. Cynthia, I did that immersion. It's wonderful. Beautiful, Cynthia. So yeah, if you want to take it to the next level, that immersion was very profound, right? We always recommend, uh, actually, it's a requisite if, if you want to teach quantum flow. Um, uh, it's it's very powerful. It's a 14-day immersion. It's really good. But then the eight-week intensive, um, you're just going to go, you know, dedicating, I don't know, maybe three hours per week, more or less, uh, per week. You know, it's not that bad. And it changes your life forever because you, you go into each one of the stages. You understand how to rewire each nervous plexus and connect with each stage of quantum flow, there's seven stages in quantum flow, right? There's seven nervous plexus, there's seven chakras. So it's a whole inner alchemy journey that if you like that immersion, I tell you, this is going to take you 10x. It's, uh, it's, the immersion was, was, it's very deep, but it's a taste of what's available when you go deeper and deeper. And uh, that's the beauty of it, right? It's like, okay, that worked for me. I felt really good. Now I want to go deeper. I'm ready. There's some people that love to stay just in the surface, you know? I was like that at the beginning. Uh, but then after I'm like, you know what? Like, if I'm going to do it, I'll just do it. I'll just go for it, you know? I just want to go for it. 
I'm done, you know, carrying the same stories and the same dramas and, and repeating the same relationships. I was repeating the same partners, you know, with like different faces. But it was the same vibration I was repeating in all my relationships until I'm, I'm done. I need to rewire my whole nervous system. I need to start emanating a different energy out there so I can attract, you know, people that um, are matching this energy. And that's what I did. And that's how I attracted the partner of my dreams, right? But it took some time to do that. It, it wasn't from one day to the other. You know? It happened, you know, pretty fast. But not as like my ego would have liked to. <laughs> my ego wanted it yesterday, right? <laughs> Cynthia, I have done it three times now. That's amazing. So it's really good. Um, the thing is, when you keep doing the same thing, it's, you're always working on the same parts of the nervous system. That's why it's so good to work on other parts of the nervous system, right? Because the movements with the same breaths, with the same movements, are always going to give you the same results. That's why with quantum flow, we're always changing. We're always approaching in a different ways. And that's why it's always about waking up dormant parts of your brain. Always, always taking your brain, your nervous system to the next level. And taking that to your capacity to receive more, your capacity to think out of the box, your capacity to have more ideas, have more creativity, have more inspiration. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Okay. Let me tune into Bootsy. Definitely love to rewire. I use the knowledge to continue to release my stock stories and beliefs. That's good, Rachel. You know, I've seen you on the work. You've done it deeply. Yes, get your scuba gear going deep. Yes, Jean. I don't say that, Jen. I don't say that uh, joke anymore because people are like, come on, Wampa, you burned that joke. I've said it so many times. It's like, okay, get your scuba gear. We are going deep, familia. And people are like, okay, okay, Wampa, we got it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Can't recommend it highly enough. It constantly upgrades my life. I know, Mike, and it's because you do the work. You're in the alchemy, right? So it's so beautiful. When you give yourself to the process, it gives back to you. There's no other way you're going to, you know, receive so many fruits. And it's like in the refinement of things, right? In the refinement uh, of the channels flowing in your body, in the refinement of mindset, in the refinement of breath, in the refinement of the philosophy and the science, you understood it in a different way. So something changed. Like it's just so beautiful, and that's why you never stop, right? You never stop. It's 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 always evolving. It's always evolving, and once. Once, like, when you feel stuck and you're like, okay, abundance is not flowing anymore and I'm not feeling that anymore and I'm not getting, like, the next level of my purpose, it's just because you're still stuck in the same loop through your nervous system. And that's why when you rewire it, when you open it up, like, really open it up from the core of your being and start lighting up and bringing that electricity to all these different parts that were once dormant, it naturally starts flowing again. It naturally starts opening again, right? Because that's your natural state. That's how we work about it. Yeah, familia. Okay. I have to give some time for my beautiful wife. Regan just arrived. She is going on a training right now. Say hello, my love. Hello. Yay. She's there. If you don't know her, I recommend you follow her. She is amazing. And she's always teaching something amazing. Hey, baby. <laughs> say hello to Facebook. Hello. Many of you know her. Hola. She's getting ready for her coach, the coach training. Very powerful training. Connecting with that laser coaching. So thank you all for being here. If you just arrived, guys, um, comment below with Inner Mastery will send you the link. You can do this free training. It's available to you, Inner Mastery. I'm not going to be talking. I just wanted to have a chat with you guys and feel your questions and come back to you. You know, I love that. But here in the training, I'm going to be like, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, all to help you take your life to the next level in everything I can, all right? Mucho amor, familia. Thank you for showing up. Please share this live stream. Please tag people here. Let them know this happened. Let them know we have a free training coming. Please invite people into this. And uh, let's make this expand and take humanity to the next level. Pura vida, familia. Mucho amor. Have the best day or night ever, wherever you're at.